Hey guys, I'm Jim KN4YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to talk about filters. So these are a couple of filters that I purchased. Uh, these are used off of eBay. So this is low pass. And what a low pass filter is, is everything beneath that frequency will pass and everything above that frequency will be blocked. So what you would see, what we should see when we hook this up and, and take a look at it on the spectrum analyzer is you should see some sort of uh, curve come across and then, and then drop down. And the curve, of course, might be sharper than that. It depends on the way the filter's made internally. What we have here is a marker here at 400 megahertz. And this second marker right here is at 400 plus 26.5, 426.5 megahertz. That is a delta off of our first marker. So this filter at 426.5 megahertz has dropped 3, 3 dB of signal. And then it'll keep on going down as we go. So this is our low pass filter. Anything below 400 megahertz is going to go through. And as we get above 400 megahertz, we're now clamping that off. So those frequencies are not going to pass. Low pass is what we're looking at. This is a band pass filter. This guy's band pass is 125 kilohertz. So a band pass filter is going to look something like uh, a hump, a bell curve, because this band here is what we're passing. And then at some point, there's some sort of curve on either side where we're cutting off higher and lower frequencies from going through this filter. If you have an HF radio, every one of your HF radios has adjustable filters on it to make low pass, high pass and notch filters. So you can narrow down that signal and get rid of extraneous frequencies on either side of the desired signal. And if you have taken a test recently uh, on the general or the extra, I know there's a lot of questions in there that talk about filters. And it is a fairly sharp and flat plateau on this particular filter. Those frequencies on either side of 125 kilohertz are going to get cut off and we're going to let the 125 kilohertz frequency range come through. So that is our bandpass. And then as you can see on either side, we have a fairly sharp drop off on both sides of our pass band where we're starting to filter out everything else. Guys, that's what I have for you for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not, ring that bell so you're notified whenever I post any new content. As always, 73, thanks for stopping by.